Hello. Hi, yeah. Hello. Busy? Yeah, I am. Look at all that lot that's come out of the garden. This is all courtesy of, or thanks to, Jeanette, the enthusiastic gardener. So if you haven't seen her, you need to go and have a look. But it's her fault. She always was trouble. That I'm sweating <laughs> Ooh, and making gaps in the garden. <laughs> yeah. But she was right. It needed to be done. So I'm glad I got stuck in and cracked on. So all but, year round you grow them and now you just pull them to bits. Yeah. Right. But I wanted to show you something. Oh, OK. Before I top it off. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, what's it's a, that? It's a pineapple lily. <laughs> and it's the first time it's ever done anything. I mean, okay. it's gone over now, obviously. It's really heavy, so it's flopped. So I'm going to chop it off now, but mm -hmm. yeah, it disappears and then comes back. So oh, I must remember to put a marker in. So do you want to show me what you've been doing then? Or show the punters what oh, you've been I doing? I could show everybody what I've been doing. Oh, let me get rid of my mug. just been told off for not having my nail in pad. So, August, and everything is just kind of tipping over. We've had a real heat wave in the UK, 40 degrees, never heard of before. Um, and it did affect quite a few of the plants. So I'm now doing a tidy up. It's 27 today, isn't it? Oh yes. <laughs> so it's still quite warm. And it's midday, I shouldn't be out at midday, but hey. So yeah, I just got a bag and a bucket of my secateurs and had a little walk round and looking at things that needed to be chopped. But look at the blue. I don't know whether the camera will pick up how bright and vivid that blue is on the Chinese plumbago. I hope so. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And now my hibiscus is in flower. Mm. And I found a treasure. Another one? Yeah, just down there, look. A dahlia popping up. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember planting it there, but I must have done. Yeah, maybe self seeded. Yeah, so it's, um, it's late, but it's, uh, it's growing, so I've given it some space. I chopped some of the ice plant down so that the light got to it. Ooh, the coleus has been eaten. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I think it was the heat. Uh, yeah, that one's not so bad. No, that looks okay. Who look, there's a weed. <laughs> there you go. One more for the bag. Yep. Get rid of that. It's a shame because it's pink and pretty, mm. but yeah. Corner's still kind of in flower. Well, it's kind of going. These are okay. My colour lilies, lovely colour. But my violas, I got hold of them and I just chopped them down to about two inches above the soil and they're just beginning to come back. I was hoping I'd get another flush on this, but it doesn't look as if it's going to. It's a shame because that was that beautiful coral one, the big one. I've made a mess there now, look. Yeah. These have done well, these dahlias that we planted with your... Um, Melimosa. Melimosa clematis, yeah. They've done really well. Yeah, that's gone a bit well since it I has. last well, time Well, we've lost a lot there. of the flowers because I don't know whether you can tell, but it's really, really windy. Mm. We've had an awful lot of wind in the UK. Well, the bees still like it. Yeah, the bees <laughs> all love it. Yeah. The, um... You right, Ted? What oh, Ted's poorly. What, what do you do? He's chewing grass now. Yeah. Oh, well, let that him. Dog. Nature's medicine for dogs. Yeah. What are they? That's hibiscus, that's oleander. So that's doing quite well now. Mm -hmm. I've no idea what that is. It came in a pack and I just popped it in and it did have orange flowers on it. Maybe somebody will know? Yeah, somebody might know. Daisies are gone. I've just chopped them down, but if you look, oh, yeah, some buds on them. Buds, that's why I've only gone that far down. Mm, and the rose is still kicking stuff out. Yeah, and I've just been following Jeanette, the enthusiastic gardener's advice. I didn't know that when a rose has gone over, you cut it down 
to five leaves to the next set of five leaves so like this one is five leaves that's three so you wouldn't go to there you'd go to here I didn't know that so I've okay. just gone round and done it the internet's full of useful information well Jeanette's brilliant my um hmm no not Al calla lily arum lily has done so well and it's still blooming look it's just throwing up another fresh flower mm -hmm. the rest are going off because they were pure white the veronica that's its second flushing of flowers because i chopped it mm. my peaches nothing's happening to them so i think i'm going to call it a day i'm going to dig it up give it away Aye. because i don't know it's something I'm doing wrong, or it's our soil. Geranium's still doing OK? Yeah, geraniums. The geraniums loved the heat, didn't they? Oh, yes. This one's just coming into flower. And look at the hebe, isn't that lovely? Yeah, still looking pretty good in this corner. Yeah. And the olive tree's going crazy. The olive tree's going crazy, my dead olive tree, yeah. <laughs> hydrangea was a cutting that my dad did the heat got it so but it is still throwing up new leaves so it's not dead it's just the flowers have gone over so oh, look, a shed for a the shed. sheddy things <laughs> <laughs> yeah i've cut the dead um, flowers off the hookahs <laughs> now let me shut it otherwise <laughs> we're going to have mind your feet as well <laughs> it's like a hammer house hammer house of horror <laughs> Yeah, so I've been round and I've cut the dead flowers off all the heucheras. I think maybe I should cut the those ones off the um, hosta as well. They're not looking their best anymore, are they? I did wonder whether to cut this back because um, the heat got it. But then I figure it's throwing new stuff now and it loses its leaves anyway, doesn't it? at the end of the season so I think I'm gonna leave it so yes Jeanette five leaves <laughs> I'll cut it back this morning yeah that one's still in flower so I left it that's a pretty little cauliflower yeah it's lovely well that's why I got it because it was so pretty mm. yeah I've pulled a lot of the dead leaves off these um heucheras here as well the heat got those this bit up here was in the shade, so it wasn't so bad, but this bit does get a little bit of afternoon sun. Late afternoon sun. Excellent. Yeah. So all in all, the garden hasn't done bad. Oh, there's still a bit of colour in it. Yeah. These pots are still throwing out a bit of colour. Yeah. This one, I was worried, wasn't going to flower this year. Now I've got one flower. <laughs> <laughs> And because it wasn't going to flower, I went and bought another one, and lo and behold, it's the same blooming colour. I must like that colour. Obviously. Yeah. Mm. The pots are okay. I've been really, really disappointed with my hanging baskets this year. They've not done as well as previous years. Still looks good. Yeah, the other one doesn't. It's practically empty. Ooh, let's go and have a look. Yeah. I've had to pull this away from the wall because the wind yeah, was wafting it and scratching all the leaves away. No so figs then? No figs this year, no. <laughs> no, it was only halfway through the year. I realised it needs to be against a south-facing wall, wasn't it? Dahlias are still going crazy. Every time I see a faded one, I cut it off. I missed that one, I need to cut that off. And then they just keep budding. There's loads of buds. This one was late to bloom. I don't know why, but it has got buds now. So, yeah. And this is looking a bit sad. It's going over now. Mm -hmm. Another good show though. Every it was year. fabulous. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely fabulous. In fact, I might have to split it because if you look at the size of the pot, either that or get a bigger pot. Mm, probably. Mm. But yeah. And the hanging basket this side. Yeah. 
It's looking a bit limp it's now. It's looking a bit limp and bare. I have cut everything back to see if I can get it to rejuvenate, but I'm not holding out any hopes for this one. Mm. Even down here has gone. Yeah, and I think last word from me is, you see here we've got some bushing. So, um, yeah, let's take a slight detour. Um, go down there, a mucky side passage. This used to be for the hot tub. I've yet decided what to do with it. Got all these ideas. Might be an air conditioning unit or something. Um, yeah, last video, we were talking about these. Well, all of them died. So I contacted a guy on eBay who was um, about as useful as a kick between the legs, to be honest. And now I've bought a load more. So um, we'll see how these do. Eventually, hopefully, we can have a hedge here. <laughs> and then what's going to happen is... That's actually, this is a weird bit. This is actually our next door neighbours just here. We kind of tended it for years. We put yuccas in there, but it just went stupid and out of control. So what they plan to do is extend the drive a bit. Um, so they're probably going to put cages of rocks where the sleepers are here. And then hopefully we'll have a hedge to, to cover it all. But at the moment, it's not going too well. No. <laughs> you might want to show know. your um, fuchsia. Yeah, so... We've got a couple of pots out the front here with uh, hebes in them, which... Um, They've never flowered No, out the very front. bizarre. We used to have coleus in these. These used to look really nice. Um, but then last year, I think they just didn't Well, they're annuals, aren't they, yeah, coleus? didn't flare at all. But we got new ones that didn't flower. Um, but yeah, this fuchsia. <laughs> Tiny little bush when we put it in. And you've got to chop it back about three or four times in the year. I mean, the bees love it. And there you go. There's a Come on, bee man. in there flying around. Um, but... Every time we get out the cars now, um, you get soaked. <laughs> because, <laughs> because if it's been watered or rained on, it just, when you brush past it, it just, um, yeah, douses you. And um, yeah, we've also got this, which has gone over now. Um, clematis. Uh, clematis, yeah. But um, again, every single year, strip it back to literally one bark. Um, but it just goes mad, absolutely mad. So this area, as nice as it looks, it's a right pain in the backside. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It we... might be worth digging this up and putting it in the back. Yeah, I like it, but it's just uh, probably we need to be under control with it. Anyway, we'll, we'll end it here, I think. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yes. Say goodbye to your punters. Yes, thanks for joining us. Enjoy your gardens. Take care. Bye.